Honorable President of India, all the dignitaries and respected incumbents associated with the President House and dear students, it is truly momentous and a rare privilege for all of us to come in kind contact of President of India to get the blessings of his good self. President said it would not be hyperbole to say that our institute is legend. It is legend for its past glory and present excellence. We are the believers of performance and manifestation and we do also have the aim to serve our society as the change agent, as the pathfinder. Our institute is contributing to the field of learning for more than 175 years. President Sir, the law section in our college was set up in 1978 and since then it is actively engaged in advancement and dissemination of learning and knowledge of law and legal process. Our aim is to enhance the cognitive faculty and the skill of the student with regard to advocacy, legal service, legislation, law, law reforms and our approach is also to promote interdisciplinary study of law. Alumni of the law section Hooghly Mohsin College adorn important positions of bench, bar, legal academia, corporate law departments, government departments, etc. President said our college is affiliated under the Bordhuman University and we are offering three years LLB degree as well as the LLM degree. President Sir, I, Dr. Subir Kumar Roy, Assistant Professor of Law, on behalf of my college, expressing my sense of gratefulness for providing this glorious moment and showering your blessings, I shall remain a faithful citizen of you forever. Thank you, sir. I, on behalf of all the students of Hooghly Motion College Law Department, feel really exalted and thrilled for having an opportunity or to have an opportunity to have a rendezvous with the Honorable President of the largest democracy of the world. Sir, I would, first of all, I would like to, on behalf of the students of, the, of our college, I would like to express my gratitude to you. And after that, I would earnestly request you to share some of your views or, and give us your advice you had in this long term you had spent in the legislature. And we are also looking forward for all the valuable advices as we are the students of jurisprudential science so that we can take our country to the culmination of success by if in spite of by mistaken depleting it to the nadir of falsity. Before ending, I on behalf of all these teaching faculties and my classmates, I would like to cordially invite you to in our college for your presence. Thank you very much. I warmly welcome all of you to this historic building, Rashtrapati Bhavan, which was constructed by our colonial masters in the first half of the last century. Almost at the zenith of the colonial power, this building was constructed as the residence of the Governor General and Viceroy of India when the capital was shifted from Calcutta to Delhi in 1911. Last year I had the privilege of welcoming another batch of your school, <coughs> college and I hope they enjoyed their stay. This year I am glad to have this opportunity once again. Your college is an illustrious. It was established 20 years ago before the establishment of Calcutta University in 1836. And as Dr. Roy mentioned about the illustrious students starting from Amir, who sent to Amir Ali, to Bunkim Chandra Chattopadhyay, to Kanai Lal Dattu, to D.L. Rai, whole host of great personalities of contemporary 
Bengal and contemporary India had the privilege of learning in this illustrious institution. And I am glad that this has been maintained especially in the law faculty since 1978. Earlier it was under Calcutta University when only there was one university which had a very wide jurisdiction covering the entire Myanmar or Burma, Sri Lanka and Eastern India before the other universities came to exist. But now it is under the administrative control of the Bardwan University. You have professed to be the lawyers and accepted this noble profession. I welcome you and I congratulate you. Law is the essence of any civilized order and rule of law is the very fundamental principles on which the modern civilized states are based. As you are aware, force cannot be the basis of state. It is the will of the people. It is the willing cooperation of the people. Only that can establish the state and the state can be nourished, can be maintained through the principles of rule of law. Your job is to protect the fundamental rights of the people. At the same time, your job as a social being, as a creature of the society, that when there is a conflict between the larger good of the maximum number of people and the right of the individuals, which side you will take, that depends on your own assessment of the situation and your own judgment, which is right, which is wrong. In that way, the social forces unfold itself, unleash itself. I welcome you to this noble profession and your visit to Delhi and also to Rashtrapati Bhavan. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. Our president is a man of unparalleled experience in governance with the rare distinctions of having served at different times as foreign, defense, commerce and finance minister. His able leadership always helps a country to proceed forward and whatever the position and respect we are holding in the world, the contribution also owes to a president, sir. I'm sure the thought-provoking speech of his uh, president helps to enhance the cognitive faculty of our students and colleagues. For this, once again, I'm expressing my gratefulness to our Rashtrapati ji. I also have the privilege to thank all the officials and members of the president house for arranging this gorgeous and educative evening. President Sir, I, Dr. Sadhana Gupta, Assistant Professor in Law, on behalf of Hugli Motion College, shall remain your law-abiding citizens forever, and it is a promise that all of us will follow your valuable advice. Thanking you. <laughs>